is September 29, 2022, about 11 a.m. And uh, I'm on my way to Bar Harbor. And the first stage of my trip is to drive through the strip of Acadia National Park along the southern end of Mount Desert Island over from Bass Harbor over to Southwest Harbor and through the seawall area. I do this frequently and count the cars at the Ship Harbor uh, Wonderland and Wonderland Trails just to get a feel for how crowded Acadia National Park is. The peak that I've seen lately is around a hundred cars in the entire seawall area excluding the campground. So we're just entered the park and we're coming up on the Ship Harbor Nature Trail. Okay, just around this corner is the Ship Harbor Nature Trail. And it looks super crowded today. Five. three cars so it's not super crowded today I won't be walking that trail though until when I come over here there'll say one or two cars at most uh, yeah Wonderland just a second it's a, about a quarter mile from Ship Harbor here's a sign for it and let's see how crowded the Wonderland trail is it looks like it might be more crowded than Ship Harbor over here 25 26 two of them I couldn't see so that gives us a total of 49 cars in this area of Acadia National Park and we'll be up here I'll make a very quick loop into the uh, picnic area and then we'll take a look at the seawall proper yesterday uh, when we came back from sailing the seawall itself had about 20 cars at it so it was crazy I don't know why the people were there you'll notice uh, that the trees are starting to turn here uh, mostly the maples and a few birches are starting to turn so we're starting to have some fall color we're a ways from peak though and you can see a little more color up ahead here and uh, so Fall's color season is getting going. And I think the way things are changing lately, uh, within the next few days, we're going to be pretty far along because we're supposed to have some fairly cool nights with temperatures down in the 45 degree range and daytime highs in the upper 50s to low 60s. So fall is definitely here. And for me, uh, for boating, I only have about three weeks left before my sailboat is going to come out of the water and go into the storage shed for the winter. Okay, here's the entrance to the campground on the left and the turn to go out to the picnic area on the right. So we'll be over there, take a look and see how crowded the picnic area is this morning. At, it's just now, 11 a.m. Out here we'll get a look at the ocean and it's flat calm this morning yesterday in the morning it was really dense fog out here but it cleared off you can see it's beautiful out there today very light wind and no waves to speak of okay what do we have over here five cars over here so that takes us up to 54 cars so far This is a Thursday, so midweek. This time of year, we get our biggest crowds on the weekend when people come up from uh, Massachusetts and other places not too far away to the south for a weekend visit to the park. There's a view looking up the western way, Little Cranberry Island on the right, and the hills 
hills of Mount Desert Island in the distance. And let's see what we have over here. So we're at 54. And we'll make the loop. See how many people are in this part of the campground. Well, none in the that part. Two, three, four cars here. So 58 cars so far. That's down from where it's been. Most days lately, uh, midweek, it's been in the 70 to 80 car range. So unless there are a lot of people over at sea, the seawall itself, uh, it's not super crowded today. But the ocean is really pretty. seawall count the cars there and that'll be the end of this uh, video I don't see anybody waiting to go into the campground they close in about a week uh, although they did say that uh, they might be a little flexible on their closing date. I'm not sure exactly when they're going to close, but I think it's around October 7th. Okay, here's Seawall proper. You can see a house over there. That's outside the park. The park boundary is just past this uh, seawall here. And the seawall, of course, is a natural seawall. It's rocks thrown up by the surf that uh, basically created the beach. Okay, 60 cars all together here in the Seawall area of Acadia National Park at 11 a.m. on Thursday, September 29, 2022. So the crowd is down a bit. I'd say we're down about, oh, maybe 20%, maybe 25% from typical for this time of the week and this time in the last few days. Okay, I'm going to end this video. You can still see a little fall color starting over here as we go into the manset part of Southwest Harbor. So I'll end the video. Hope you enjoyed uh, this quick look at the seawall part of Acadia National Park here on the southwest tip of Mount Desert Island, Maine. Thanks for watching.